I'm looking for a component I want to insert into an assembly in SOLIDWORKS. I don't know very much about the component, so how do I search for it? Let me show you how to easily search for and find any content and how the 3D Experience platform actually can help you find your content so that you don't have to spend too much time trying to find it. Searching on the 3D Experience platform enables you to find specific files quite easily. Okay, so you are looking for something on your platform that you want to insert into a SOLIDWORKS assembly. So what do we know about it? Um, we know that I was the one that created it. Um, I think it was created sometime in April. The component is released and it is a physical product, meaning it's either a SOLIDWORKS part or a SOLIDWORKS uh, assembly. It can be a different um, CAD type as well. Physical product, that's what it is. So what I will do first is to first filter all my files so that it only shows my own files. And I'll do that by clicking in the search field and selecting my content. And this will bring up all my content, which is a lot. It's like 14,000 files. Um, from here, I can click the 6W tag button I can filter on physical products so that I only see the physical products. And some of these physical products will not be SOLIDWORKS product actually, but most of them are. I can filter down to that later. I will go down and select creation date and select the month of April. And that will narrow down my search to 56 results, which is still uh, a handful of files. I will then go down and find the released um, 6W tag. So I go down to maturity set, click the released tag, and then I will filter down my files to 11. And from here I can recognize the file from the icon. From here I can open the file in SOLIDWORKS and from there, I can insert the file into my SOLIDWORKS assembly. What I like about finding content this way is that you don't have to type anything into the search field to find what you're looking for. You can find basically anything by starting with a broad search and then narrow it down using tags. Now, if you prefer to type something specific into the search field, let's say the drawing number or something like that, you will still be able to search that way. And then you can combine the two, for instance, by first typing in a specific search and then filter the search result using tags like you saw here. What this means is that you have several ways to find the content and finding the right content is fast and easy. If you have a favorite way of searching for your content, let me hear it in the comments. That's it for today. See you later.